Hello everyone, my name is John Venice and today I'm gonna teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So today I'm gonna paint like uh, a sunrise everyone. It will be like on a beach. Okay, so yeah, I think uh, I didn't paint like this for a very long time. So I will just try to do a silhouette uh, landscape uh, beach uh, or sea or um, uh, I mean uh, a seascape or something like that. And yeah, it will be simple for the beginners everyone so i hope that you will enjoy this and you can learn okay thank you and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed it and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notifications on my new videos and tutorials you can see all the materials needed on the screen you can see the 500 colors or brushes that we're gonna need and all the things that we're gonna need to paint this painting okay so i'm going to start now and yeah my canvas is blank I'll just try to do it uh, out of my own imagination, okay? So I'm going to do the other painting first. I have here the 1.5 inch flat brush. So I'm gonna paint the sky first and then, yeah, I want it to orange, yellowish or reddish sky. So yeah, that will be my plan. So I have here the yellow. We can add all the yellow so that it will become a very bright color sky and also to put a lot of uh, palm trees but it will be in silhouette so I have here the orange there. Okay, let's put something a bit orange on the bottom. So I'm gonna put the horizon here, everyone. Like that. A very orange and yellows of very light color. Okay. It's hard to create a solid color from this. Okay, from there, I am going to add a little bit of reddish purple. So I have here more red and then yellow. Oh no, I mean blue. Sorry, bro. It's blue. And then white. Okay, I'm sorry it's because I forgot my water. Okay. So we have now here some a reddish purple yeah we can cover everything there especially in the top using this uh, reddish purple color I'll try to add a lot of paints. There. 
Okay. Then here also. And then some blue color and then white. The color what is it? That will be a reddish purple. So add some white. I can add it here. This will be the C here, the one. You should always clean your brush around. And then you can use some orange. Probably we have to let it dry because orange one is very light color. So at least we have the other painting. Okay. So I'm going to slowly build uh, the 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 tones there. Okay. So here one, maybe I will add a little bit of orange because I'm gonna put maybe here the the horizon on this part here. So yeah, I'm gonna try to use a smaller brush this one it's a medium size flat brush I'm gonna use some uh, yellow and then white Okay, so at least I remember, I will remember the horizon part. Yellow and the, and the red to make some orange. Okay, so let's try to add some more orange here. Add a bit much more solid orange. Okay, so let's start adding some little bit of clouds. Okay, this clouds everyone. To be like an orange clouds like that. So it will be a small clouds in the horizon. There. Let's add a little bit a uh, big longer or bigger clouds here. There. 
ver. Ok. Ok. We use a lot of yellow on this painting because it's uh, more like a lot of yellow here. Okay, so you can see the colors are very solid yellow and orange. Yeah, it is good. There. there you go yeah and then not just there wait I'm gonna put some yellow one Okay, you can add a bit of orange yellow there to create something wow small clouds or yeah something clouds there on the sky part You can see now that the light is coming from this part. So let's add some light yellow or white yellow on the center part here. Let us assume that this is the sun. Okay, and I'm gonna put a little bit of light. Um, first, I'm going to add some purple clouds here around this part, and then some reddish color, and then we can put some blue color still on the back. Then your brush, we can put some blue and the red to make some reddish purple more uh, more red yeah and then white that's too dark Let's add some more white. Yeah, just like that, everyone. You can add more red. That's too, actually, that's too dark, everyone. Add more white.
सकते हैं Just uh, blend it like that, everyone. Add some little amount of this color. Just blend it on the orange background. And you can see that it is looking great and realistic on the top. Okay, so simple strokes and it makes it look good and better. Okay. And then we can add more red color and then white to make some purple but uh, it's much more reddish okay add more white and red maybe it should be much more reddish everyone I will also put some uh, pink everyone just red and white uh, straight okay I'm gonna add more white to make it way lighter Okay, just pink, white, and red. okay so even those simple uh, strokes it create a beautiful sense of clouds okay i like that i like that i like how the clouds look everyone it looks so good yeah and everything's orange okay 
Okay, so I'm going to put, I'm going to use a smaller brush, this one. The smallest flat brush number uh, two. I'm going to put some white here. This will be the, this will be the, the sun. Okay. There. And then let's, use this small brush uh, line, liner brush and then I have here the white let's add some lines here maybe we can mix it with yellow So as you can see that uh, the, the sun is on the back light part, everyone. It's on the back. And then you can put here some light straight. Some yellow. So it will be like that later on. There. Okay. So on the top, everyone, I'm going to put a little bit light blue there, here on the top. So I have here the blue and the white. You can add a little bit of yellow there. And we can put it here.
So just a lighter blue here the one and the, the other part, upper part it will be a little bit dark. Okay. So yeah, that's it. So you can see now uh, there's also a part of the sky that we can still see. Yeah, that means that that uh, that uh, the colors there, the, the the orange colors there are all clouds. Yeah, it looks so good. Actually, I will just cover some parts of that later on because I'm gonna put some palm trees there. It will be copper covered with a lot of pine uh, palm trees. Okay. Okay. So let's add some. I'm gonna use the medium size flat brush, but I, we need to clean it first, everyone. And then we need to use some uh, first some raw umber. This raw umber. Yeah, we have to darken this part here. And then we can add some yellow and red to this. And then more yellow. I think it should be more yellow, everyone. I will not make it so complicated at uh, this painting. I think um, I want it to be simple enough. That anyone can paint it also, even the beginners. Okay. Okay, just like that everyone. No need for a lot of details. Even though I'm gonna put the the palm trees in silhouette okay so just plain dark and then we can add some more white so and then yellow to create the highlights here it should be more yellow everyone maybe orange okay Okay, there you go. So we have now uh, this one, and now let's add some colors on the on the water. It should be a uh, little bit uh, purple, everyone. Actually, at uh, this at uh, this uh, color of the sea, it should be dark there. So we have to use blue and the red, and then white, not so dark. Then add some small waves, it's up to you. Yeah, I can just do like that. Okay. 
there. Okay. Even like that, everyone, to turn out good. Okay, I'm going to use a uh, smaller brush now. I'm gonna make it lighter the color the smallest flat brush so just like that everyone create some waves there not good that it will be all orange and also some bluish color or purple light purple add more like that just blend it like that everyone there so even like that as uh, strokes you can see that it looks uh, realistic uh, water sea water doesn't have to be really really detailed and perfect even we can use a bit more bluish and white and maybe a little bit greenish just on the near part if you can put that greenish part to make it look shallow And do not make it too more there okay so let's clean the brush i'm going to add now some water reflection okay i mean the reflection coming from the sun so first we can use the orange yellow and the red Okay, so I'm going to put some white. I think I'm going to use this.
I just like that everyone. Wait, I need to make sure that it's straight. <laughs> and even here, I can put some white. Not sure, I need to make sure that it's straight, everyone. Yeah, because uh, I'm sorry I cannot do like that to you <laughs> because uh, I, I will block you, I will block the view. Uh, yeah, sometimes it's really hard to create tutorials because I cannot make my face straight to the painting, it's a little bit str struggling. Okay, I don't know, but yeah, so it might, this is my case, everyone. That's why if I make mistakes a little bit because I cannot really point myself straight to the canvas because I will block, I know that um, I will block you, the view from you. Okay, there you go. So you have now this beautiful reflection. Okay, so like that everyone and one thing that I need to put there is that I, I'm going to put something like a, a boat here, a boat there or a ceiling boat. It will be something like a highlight of this painting. So yeah, I'll try to put it here on the side of the reflection. So I'm going to make it not too much. I'm going to make it light, maybe something like an orange yeah first it will be should be a little bit orange everyone yellow and red because it will be a bit of transparent some light of the sun will be blocking it so yeah And then I can try to use this uh, brown or amber red and then yellow. Like that. There. 
Okay. I hope that it is not so small. Okay, that is good perspective. And in the reflection, everyone also, yeah. There. Okay, at least there's a little bit of reflection, dark reflection there. Sometimes reflection may not be so obvious. Well, it should, it should be obvious. Yellow and white and then yellow. And then we can add some lights here. Just like that. You can exaggerate everyone. I like to exaggerate things. And then we can add some orange. Just orange everyone like that. Or even you can add now yellow. To make it look transparent. And maybe we can lighten some parts here because I think it's just too, too obvious. <laughs> and then we can create a bit of reflection here. Okay, well, let's add some palm trees there. I want it to be uh, a lot of palm trees. I, I was even thinking to cover some parts here, but, but uh, I don't want it to, I don't want to ruin the time that I put there. Yeah, you can use this blue umber, be red and then blue to make some dark. Okay, I, I'm not using any black, so I'm using this color. Okay. I'm just using the medium size, I know the small size black brush. Okay, sometimes it's very hard to maintain the size of the body, everyone. Okay. 
Okay, that's it. Here also you can you can add different sizes. Just don't be afraid like, to ruin your painting. <laughs> Okay, we can put different sizes. We can actually use directly the the row number. So something like that. You can also put like that. Okay, not just that, everyone. I need to put more. Actually, <laughs> actually, I don't want to ruin my background, but I was actually planning like this since the beginning. So what can we do? So maybe here. Do your best that uh, it's size is con constantly the same. Okay. And also this one here, everyone, I will put. Yeah. It sounds, it looks a bit of distorted, it's distorted, but it's fine. Okay, so 
Yeah. And the body is a little bit smaller, I think. Okay, but uh, it's fine. one more here everyone like that straight Sorry. Okay. So we have also another um, there. And now let's try to start adding some. leaves so using the same color everyone dark color let's put some leaves here over here there that's pretty easy i'm using the small brush sometimes the leaves of the bottom part is uh, thicker So like that. Just to like that everyone is just drag it like that a little bit curved and it will look like leaves of the palm trees there yeah actually it looks so good it's now like a silhouette of palm trees okay I like uh, how easy this one, everyone. And I know that everyone can do this also. There. And this one, everyone, I'm going to make it uh, thicker. Just like that. You can create first the, the leaves, so the stock. Then you can create the leaves like that. 
just make it uh, or just I'll do like that everyone like uh, curve strokes This one also. There. Okay. As you can see, uh, it's a uh, silhouette. You can see it's dark and then on the background it's sun it's sunrise and this big uh this one everyone I'm, I'm gonna make it bigger i'm gonna do it all the way here this that part is dark and and solid okay so let's uh, retouch a little bit more that put some darks also even some casted shadow and we can put a little bit of yeah i will try to use this blue and the red everyone and then white put a little bit of details on the on the back part like that but the colors a bit off uh, gray or uh, light purple that's just uh, to like that everyone stroking I'm gonna add some light uh, yellow everyone that like light brown we can you can do like that here it should be orange it should be orange because the the sun is so orange can make it uh, darker
and then we can make a line light of line everyone just yellow, yellow and white you can still put a little bit of tiny details here little bit exaggeration of the lights there and I think that's it everyone I think I am done and for me that's fine that's good it doesn't have to be so perfect and a lot of things there doesn't have to be so detailed and something like that so yeah this one everyone this palm tree is so near to us that uh it's uh there's a distance between this one so maybe i just try to make it clear because it looks like that this one is a big palm tree so maybe yeah put that there so that you can see a bit of difference can add a bit of dark maybe here somewhere apply the casted shadow okay there you go that's it wait I have to make it so clear also okay so that's it everyone and i am done and i hope that you are happy and and you get something out of this very simple tutorial for today even the beginners can do this one and they can enjoy painting this one and okay everyone so i want to say thank you for watching this video today and i hope you get something out of this and my only advice is to keep on practicing keep on painting the more you do it the more you have to use your brush the more you will know how to mix the colors that's why i'm using limited colors of your palette because i want you to learn to know how to mix and get the desired colors you want so please hit like and some comments subscribe for more videos in the future okay once again thank you have a nice day and god be sure all the glory and honor and praise always belongs to the Lord.